Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I'm the Watchman on the Wild, Nikki Pratt. Listen, I wanted to come to you guys. This is urgent. And do this video um, before the night over with. If I sound a little nasally, it's allergies. My eyes are puffy. And I am just sound, ugh, you know. So just bear with me. I'm going to try to get through this. I feel, you know, when you, your allergies are messed up, you feel a little... I don't know, out of place, a little airheaded or something. So anyway, I had to stop the video and re-record and uh, pray. Uh, yeah. So, all right. On September 21st or 22nd, kind of like in the wee hours of the morning, so I guess you would say September 22nd, um, in prayer, I heard, I'm going to give it to you just like I heard it. The word earthquake, eight, realms of eight, earthquake, eight, realms of eight. And let me just tell you, after that, I have been seeing the number eight since then, like you wouldn't believe. Um... I was on the phone today after coming out of prayer again about this video um, with the Lord, and I was praying in the Spirit. And when I got off the phone, uh, I'm sorry, got out of prayer, I got on the phone, there was an attorney call for one of my patients, and I asked for the patient's date of birth. She said, August 8, 1980, the patient was 38 years old. You can't make this stuff up. When I just got through saying that, it was 152 on the clock. Seven plus one. You can't make this stuff up. Wow. Um, I'm going to read to you two scriptures. Um, but what I, in this after prayer, I learned some things with this realms of eight. I didn't know, I don't know if you knew, that there were eight biogeographical realms. Eight biogeographical realms. If you don't know what that is, let me show it to you real quick. Here, 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 all over here, basically the all these continents and stuff. And let me tell you what they are. Neartic, Pale Arctic, Afrotropic, Indo Malaya, Australasia, Neotropic, Oceanic, and Antarctic. Eight of them, eight realms. Yeah. So um, there are eight verses that I'm going to attach to this video concerning earthquakes. Watch this. With the number eight in these verses. Okay. I'm going to tell you about John 13, 19 because this is all to give God glory uh, above anything. John 13, 19 says, Now I tell you before it come to pass, that when it come to pass, ye may believe that I am he. Now, let me give you one of the verses that has the number 8 in it concerning earthquake. 2 Samuel chapter 22 says, verse 8, 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 8 says, Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of heaven moved and shook because he was wroth. Hmm. Wroth meaning angry. Okay, so uh, for video time's sake, and my video's been acting up, um, I'm going to re uh, put all these eight different verses. Uh, I'm attached it to it, and uh, you know, I've heard this morning that Indonesia just had a tsunami after an earthquake, tsunami after an earthquake, and um, recently on this video, on this channel, I, I didn't get the date of when um, I prophesied that, but it's, it's a fulfilling fulfillment. 
I came on here warning Indonesia and California that greater is coming. Turn to the Lord and repent. Greater is coming. Turn, turn to the Lord. And today, a tsunami hit. Um, you guys be in prayer for Indonesia that um, ministering angels will be dispatched from the four regions, the corner of, of the earth, and um, minister to them um, because I don't think they're getting it. All right. And also speaking on the number eight, um, I keep seeing number 44. Everywhere I look, everywhere I turn, and 44 equals eight. But everywhere I look, everywhere I turn, it's like every time I look at the clock, I don't see nothing but 44. And um, so the, the Lord is definitely speaking. The number four represents what uh, God is doing in the earth. A lot of people say 44 means judgment on the flip side of the coin it also means chosen the number 44 um, but yes it can also mean um, judgment too so um, you guys definitely be in prayer um, with this pray for the people of Indonesia pray for the whole United States and surrounding continents because you guys, you know, um, sometimes, and, and, and many of you know, if you prophesy, um, if you get word of knowledge or revelation, and sometimes I get revelations, and this would be a, a word of knowledge revelation, um, sometimes the Lord will give things and just, you know, you may say a word, it may be in pieces. Why do the Lord do that? He, he Sometimes he won't give us everything all at one time. You know what I'm saying? And some a lot of it is to keep you humble. You know, a lot of people want to prophesy and be exact, precise. No. No, no, no. The Lord don't work right th like that. Um, I learned that through Pearls of Prophecy through Harvest Stormy. They have a book, and it, it, it teaches you how to prophesy. It's all to give God glory. When you, you, you know, a lot of things, yes, he can give us some things in, uh, in precision, but when, you know, you, you, you want to be, like, on target, on point, on, mm -mm, the Lord don't work like that. Mm -mm. because you don't want to take the glory from him. And as I read in their book, sometimes like if um, Harvest Army said that if you say that you saw something happen to, let's say, a uh, R&B star, you don't call, the, you um, how they have it, uh, I think it says something about they wouldn't call out their name. It just they say they would say a certain R and B singer, blah 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 blah, whatever whatever, and they won't call out that name. And that is because it. Um, how do they have it? Um, it leaves so there won't be room for error. We can error. We can definitely make mistakes, but that it's all a learning process. But it's definitely done to keep you humble. Humble. Mm hmm Humble. All right. So, anyway, um, I had to share that. You guys definitely stay in prayer for your families um, in the surrounding countries. Pray for the protection. Pray for mercy. Pray for grace. Pray for grace um, and mercy. We are living in some trying times. There's a lot of things going on, a lot of evil. And um, it's like the people are running around like nothing is going on. And it definitely is. Definitely is. So, um, anyway, stay prayed up. I love you guys. See you next video. Thanks.